Hello people, this is SelfTurts and we are continuing our series on Python and MongoDB and in this video we will learn that how we can delete documents from our MongoDB instance. So there may be a case that you want to delete a user, you want to delete a product of your application, then you need to call the delete method of your collection so that you can kill it, you can delete the documents. So let's say how we can do that. So if you want to delete one document, so MongoDB provides us to delete a single document at once or you can delete multiple that is bulk delete. So if you want to delete one document then you need to use the delete one method and delete one is used to delete only one document. So the first parameter of delete one is the query object defining which documents to delete. So you need to provide a parameter to the delete one method which is the query object that is the criteria to filter out the documents and the delete one will delete only the first document. So when delete one query matches multiple documents, then it will delete the first occurrence. So let's say you have more than 1000 records in your collection and it is the data related to different users. So you have different ages like 10, 20, 30, 50, something like that. And let's say you called a delete one method on a filter query that is age equal to 10. So there can be more than one user who are having the age 10, but delete one will only delete the first occurrence. That is if there are 10 users or 15 users with age 10, then it will delete the topmost document only. It will not delete all the documents. The delete many does what? It deletes all the documents. So delete many is used to delete multiple document. And the first parameter of delete many is the query object defining which documents to delete. So again, same case that we need to provide a filter object or query object to filter out the documents whom you want to delete. So let's say you want to delete all the users with age 10. So in this case, if you match that there are more than five uh, users which are having age 10, then all those five documents will be deleted. If you want to delete all the documents in a collection, then you can use this delete all document that it's if you want to delete all the document, then pass an empty dict to the query delete many. So you call the same method delete many without any query object and it will delete all the documents. So let's go to our IntelliJ idea here and let's do some coding. So we already have this code from the previous videos. So we have created a Mongo client and the Mongo client accepts a connection string. So this connection string is to the connection of our local MongoDB instance. It may differ in your case because you may have a cloud instance. You may have a cloud instance, meaning AWS, Google or Azure, anything. So you get a client reference and on that client reference, you are trying to get a reference of the database on which you want to work. So since we are building an inventory management system, so we have this inventory database and all on that inventory, you will have the items collection. So this is this collection variable stores the reference to this collections items collection. So let's go to our RoboMongo and here you can see that inventory is the database, items is the collection and these are the document. So if we see the document, so these are the different keys and values. Now let's say you want to delete a single document. So let's say we want to delete the document whose item value is mat. Okay. So let's come here and let's say the collection and here we'll call the method delete one. So inside delete one, you need to provide a filter query. So in this time, what I'll do, I'll say item and the item value will is equal to one. It is equal to mat. Fine. So let's do this and let's store the data. So let's store the data as what? Let's say result. And again, I will print the result. So let's print the result. Let's try to run the program here on the right hand side. So I'll do Python app.py and this is what delete result. So this is a delete result object. If you want to access some like how many results were deleted means how many documents were deleted. So deleted count is there. Then the raw result that will give you the actual value. So this does this did what it deleted a document with the name mat. Let's confirm it here. Let's rerun it and now you can see that we have only one, two and three documents present here and there is no item with the name mat. So item is canvas, item is journal, item is mousepad. So this was 
that we deleted the document a single document using this delete one now let's do what let's delete multiple documents okay so in this case what we will do we will see we we have seen here that the quantity value in this item journal and item mouse pad is same so this will filter out two documents and let's see does it delete two document so this time we will say collection dot delete many because we want to delete more than one document so here i'll say what was the key key is quantity so i'll say quantity is the key and the value is equal to how much it is equal to 25 and these two other document so let's come here i'll not print the result you can understand or let's say we do the delete count how many documents are deleted so this will be equal to result and then let's say we print result dot deleted count fine let's go to the right hand side let's run this program and this time you can see we got a value 2 because two documents were selected because of this filter query let's come here and let's reload it and now you see only one document is available so this deleted both the document where quantity was equal to 25 now let's come to the third part that is delete all the document so if you want to delete all the document then just don't supply anything here so let's say in this case we are having only one document but if there are more than one document let's say 5 10 15 100 1 million 10 million anything then this delete without any filter query delete many without any filter query will delete all the documents let's confirm it on the right hand side i'm running python app.py and delete many missing one positional argument filter okay so i think we need to provide the filter like this okay so one document was deleted so filter query will be a empty dict so that it can match to all the documents so we deleted one document let's go to robomongo and now here you can see that all the documents are empty so this was how you can delete the document using delete one or delete many if you have bulk delete you can go for delete many if you have a single delete you can go with delete one so this was all about this video hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you